Style, elegance, strength, dignity. All are hallmarks of a Sky Terrier. The Sky Terrier is thought to have changed very little since the breed was first described over 400 years ago. Originating in the remote Scottish Isle of Skye, this hardy little working dog soon found its way south into England, where it became a popular companion dog for the nobility. By the turn of the century, the Skye was the most widely known of all terrier breeds and began appearing in American show rings in great numbers. You'll be seeing many Sky Terriers during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so. But all are representative and will help your understanding when judging it. Now let's begin. In general appearance, the Sky Terrier is long, low, and lank. He is covered with a profuse, heavy coat that falls straight down either side of the body, covering oval-shaped ribs. He is agile and strong, with sturdy bone and hard muscle. As for size, the Sky Terrier should stand about 10 inches at the shoulder. A slightly higher or lower dog of either sex is acceptable, providing body, head, and tail dimensions are proportionately longer or shorter. The ideal ratio of body length to shoulder height is 2 to 1. The sky is twice as long as it is tall, measured from withers to ground and from sternum to point of buttocks. He should be strong in body, quarters, and jaw, in keeping with his traditional work as a hunting terrier. Because of the heavy coat, you must use your hands to determine correct structure and balance. Remember that grooming can hide virtues as well as cover faults. The Sky Terrier's head size and proportions must be in balance with the size and proportions of the overall dog. 